Hey there, today I'm going to talk about a cultural fantasy anime. The sauce is in the video, please look for it carefully. If you don't know where to watch it, Google is your best friend. The main character, Elfina, is an elf. She is a skilled guardian knight of the elven village. One day, the human is playing the real-life clash of clan with their village. The elves were overpowered because they don't have enough gym and enough firepower. <laughs> A human knight has entered their stronghold to capture them. Elfina wants the elven princess to escape from the village. However, the princess does not want to run away and leave Elfina alone. Well, that's how you become a burden to someone protecting you. That white-haired guy is the only guy who entered their stronghold. He is alone, so I guess his strength is quite strong. Elfina wants to fight him until she despawn. He told her to stop this useless resistance. Even if she managed to defeat him, his troops have already surrounded the village. There is nowhere for them and the villagers to run. <laughs> Elfina realized that she has been outnumbered and outsmarted in every way, if only she has enough gem to request for reinforcement. Well, enough of that clash of clan crap. When she is in a deep thought, that guy has successfully captured the elven princess. <laughs> Elfina is in a dire situation now. She couldn't do anything. She has no choice but to beg him to spare the life of the princess and the villagers. In return, he can do anything he wants to her. She is literally offering her life to him to save everyone. <laughs> That guy immediately accepted her proposal without giving it a second thought. He wants her to become his personal protein receiver. She did not see that coming, but she will be coming later. Before that, she thought that this would not work, because this will only happen in anime. So, she accepts her fate to become the sacrifice. Guess fucking what, she is in an anime right now. She should feel grateful. Not only she gets to live, she even can receive a lot of legendary great protein. I mean, what more can she ask from this situation? The princess thanked Elfina for saving their life. Well, at least her objective has been achieved. No one got hurt and the princess is safe. As a result, Elfina is living together with that guy in the human city. By the way, that guy introduced himself as Mordo. After a few days, she is having a date with him in the city. He wants her to wear some cultural appropriate clothes. However, she is not used to these kind of clothes and wants him to despawn her. Well, her previous clothing is also cultural too. You guys can see it if you watch the original sauce. I'm not going to show it here because YouTube is scared of that. Anyways, like I said before, both of them are having a date. He complimented her for being cute. That caught her off guard. <laughs> By the way, you guys should never do that in real life, or you will get cancelled. Never compliment a woman for her looks, because that is very rude, and they do not need your validation. Well, moving on, since this incident does not take place in real life, everything is fine. She asked him why is he doing this to her. He should just despawn her when he had the chance. He immediately gave her a hug from behind. She is shocked because of that. He is also checking out her melons for cultural purposes. Well, they are not yet fully grown into a melon, so let's just call them lemon instead. He is inspecting them throughoutly, and she is trying her best to control her composure. I guess this is her first time getting a lemon inspection. Although they are carrying out the inspection in public, no one has noticed them. I guess they are too busy to give a damn about that. After that, he determined that her lemons are safe and ready to be eaten. So, he brought her to somewhere safe, so he can start the next phase. When they are in the room, he can go all out on her, because no one will watch them in HD, because 4K is not yet invented. Wait, this is not Earth, so I have no idea what am I talking about. 
Moving on, he is going to give her the blessing of human Excalibur. She realized that his Excalibur is too mighty and it is too much for her. She has no idea if she can handle it. However, she is the one who made the deal with him, so she cannot go back on her word now. He starts to give her the blessing of Excalibur. This is her first time receiving an Excalibur. He wants her to fully submit to him. However, as an elf, she is very prideful, so she politely asked him to fuck off. After that, he keeps depositing his fresh organic protein in her for his future investment. He has the stamina of a god, so he keeps giving her the taste of his Excalibur. She does not have any time to take a break and rest. She keeps receiving his protein all the time, because that is her actual job now. This happy protein time has been going on for half a month now. This means that she is receiving his fresh organic protein every day. <laughs> She starts to have some wonderful dream about protein. She realized that her body might need more protein, but she quickly denies it. She could not accept the fact that protein is very important for her diet. I guess she is the same as my editor. One day, Mordo informed her that he has to leave the city for a while. This means that she will be alone in his home. He told her that she can do whatever she wants. She can even run away from him. He knew that she is only saying that she will do anything for the meme. She did not expect that he will actually accept her request. So, he is fine with her running away from him and going back to her hometown. She got angry at him because she still has her pride and honor as a knight. She is not going to abandon her pride and go back on her word. This means that she is not going anywhere when he is away on a mission. He is very happy with her response, so he gave her an accessory as a present. It is a magic item which will remind her that she needs more protein. However, the protein man is not there to give her the protein. So, she has no choice but to suppress her craving by doing a solo let's play. She is so done with herself. She has no idea where is the princess after she has been captured. One day, someone is at the door. She quickly went to open the door. That someone is the princess. Elfina is very happy to see the princess. <laughs> She told Elfina that she is also working right now. The name of her client is Mordo, which is that night. Elfina still does not know what is going on. After waiting for a while, the protein man has returned. He is very satisfied with the protein extraction quick delivery service. He is going to rate it 5 stars later. The princess told Elfina to watch her while she is working. She wants Elfina to obtain a lot of valuable experience. <laughs> The princess starts her job by cleaning his Excalibur the eco-friendly way because she is an elf and she loves the nature and wants to save water. She is cleaning his Excalibur like her life depends on it. Elfina is watching the housekeeping live stream in HD. She did not expect that the princess is this cultural and housekeeping service. After his Excalibur is clean, she wants him to give her the payment in the form of protein because protein is the international currency. She wants Elfina to join her too, so this is a two-on-one battle now. <laughs> Both of them keeps cleaning his Excalibur the eco-friendly way. After a while, he is very satisfied with the Princess 5-star housekeeping service, so he gave her a lot of Michelin 3-star protein. She knew that kids in Africa does not have that rare delicacy, so she did not waste any of it and eat all of it. Elfina is puzzled. She has no idea why is the princess eating the legendary protein like it is some premium gourmet. After that, it is time for Excalibur time. He immediately starts the Excalibur ritual. The princess looks very happy when receiving it. Elfina realized the princess is on another level. She knew that she is not that cultural compared to the princess. After a while, he gave the princess a lot of fresh organic protein directly. Now, it is Elfina's turn to get the Excalibur. However, he did not give her the protein that she deserved. He immediately switched his target to the princess. Elfina is so done with him in her life. 
At night, she could not control herself anymore. She really wants the limited edition Protein Man's protein. So, he fulfilled her request and gave her a lot of protein. In the end, she has completely submits to him. At least, she can live comfortably and obtain a lot of protein in return. <laughs> One day, there is a tournament at the fighter arena. Alfina wants to prove her strength by having a duel with Mordo. However, before she can start the fight, she can sense a flood is coming from the Holy Canal. Since she is just standing there, he made the first move by using his Excalibur directly on her face. After that, she is just standing there without doing anything. I guess it is the collar that caused her to become like this. Since she is not attacking him, he used rapid Excalibur strike on her weak point to inflict some critical hits. Meanwhile, she is not doing anything at all, and she is not even countering his attack. It felt like this match is rigged with protein. <laughs> After a while, she sensed that her holy canal is going to summon a flood. Desperate time calls for desperate measure. As a result, she has no choice but to ask him for help. As expected of the protein man, he is willing to help her out using his almighty Excalibur, although she is her opponent at that time. In the meantime, everyone is watching the plumbing live stream in 4K, and they are very satisfied with the plumbing time. <laughs> On the next day, he told her that she no longer has to serve him anymore, and he released her from the contract. Elfina is a free elf now. However, she is very surprised by his action. <laughs> he told her that the princess has reclaimed the throne, and she has started a negotiation with the human. As a result, the human are in a friendly relationship with the elves now. This means that Elfina is going back to become a knight again. <laughs> Despite that, she is feeling down because she couldn't receive the blessing of Excalibur and some fresh organic protein anymore. <laughs> When she returned to her village, she immediately went to meet the princess. When she entered her chamber, she saw some human in there, and they are playing the game of the year, the one and only Fortnite Battle Royale Interspecies Edition. They are playing it together with the elves there. It seems like their coexistence is working out really well, and they are hanging out together in harmony. Meanwhile, Elfina is surprised and has no idea what is going on. The princess told her that she used her charm spell on everyone that come to her banquet. Therefore, the banquet is not the only thing they will come to. She asked Elfina to join the battle royale too. As expected, she followed the princess order and ready to take on some Excalibur. Despite all of that, she is not satisfied with this gaming experience, since their Excalibur are not worthy to be called as Excalibur. After a week has passed, Elfina went to the human city to meet Mordo. She told him that she requires some healing from him, and the others are very bad at healing. So, she has no choice but to beg him to help her. After seeing that, he wants her to remove her battle gear, because he is afraid that she might be armed. Hmm, <laughs> Luckily, she is not from America, so there is no firearm on her. However, he is not letting his guard down yet. He is going to perform a throughout inspection to ensure that she is not carrying any concealed weapon. Therefore, as the standard operating procedure, he is inspecting her dungeon for work purposes. As expected, there are no weapon in there, except some holy water. Since she is not boarding a flight, holy water is allowed here. After confirming that everything is safe and clear, he is going to give her the Excalibur treatment. He 360 no scoper from behind for the phase montage. He is exploring her dungeon like his life depends on it. After that, he gave her a lot of man-made nutrient-rich protein shake to heal her. After she received the protein supplement, he wants her to prove that she is eco-friendly by cleaning his Excalibur the climate-friendly way. As expected of an elf who loves the environment, she instantly did it without questioning anything. Therefore, he rewarded her with a lot of nutritious pesticide-free protein shake again, and she is like a goddamn squirrel eating all of those nuts. One day, Mordo is visiting someone, and Elfina is accompanying him. It seems like that someone is a dark elf, and she is operating a protein therapy business that is definitely paying tax to the government. 
Her name is Rosetta, and she is the manager of this place. After he paid her, she brought him into the room to carry out their legal transaction. As expected, the human cash is just a front, and he is going to pay her in protein, since protein is the international currency. She is a hardworking and independent woman, so she is going to work for the payment herself. She is harvesting her payment the climate-friendly way. After the preparation is completed, she is playing the real-life bouncing simulator, Alpha Edition, on him. That shit got a 10 out of 10 from IGN, and from him as well. Therefore, he gave her a lot of limited edition man-made protein shake as a token of friendship. You guys can do the same too in real life. After that, Elfina has joined the game as player 3. She is jealous because she was left out for this protein adventure. The Dark Elf has prepared a cultural appropriate outfit for Elfina, and it is a school swimsuit. She is skeptical about that, but she wears it in the end anyways, because she is not a racist. Anyways, more protein time happened in the end, and I am too lazy to describe all of it. All you guys have to know is, he deposited a lot of protein into them for tax purposes. Well, that is the end of my recap for this culturally diverse anime. This anime currently has two episodes only, and episode 2 was released recently. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation in this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families. By the way, I know a lot of you guys are not satisfied with the animation, so you guys can read the original sauce yourself. However, it is not translated in English yet. This is the sacred code for this manga, and good luck on your adventure.